once again in opening and taking the seams apart I use a little snap off utility knife opposed to a seam rip. One of the reasons is I can better maneuver this. When this end gets a little dull I just snap the blade off and I have a fresh sharp edge. Now a lot of times in a seam rip when you start to use it, most people have to pick it out like this. I use a blade, a utility knife, and I give it a good tug, and when I cut it a little, it starts to open up a little easier. So I can, I can use my hands to pull, my fingers to pull, and to cut the knife all in one shot. If I use the seam ripper, then I have to first pick it loose and then pull it. So it's a little harder to do it that way. With the utility knife, I pull and I cut as I go along. Now when the blade gets a little dull, I just snap it off at the groove, push it up a little further, and I have a fresh, sharp edge. So I prefer to use a utility knife. Now you have to be careful also. When you use a utility knife, what you want to do is, you don't want to cut towards the fabric. You always cut towards the thread. So you want to be able to see the thread and you'll cut the thread see, opposed to cutting towards the fabric. Never cut towards the fabric. Cut towards just the thread. And see how I keep it in my hand. I can pull and stretch and it goes by a little faster than a seam ripper. And before I know it, I'm around it. Now, always remember this. If you're taking something out Sometimes you can pull it out, and you'd be surprised at how easy it is to pull some of these threads out. If you give it a good little yank, and you might release the thread. Whereas the knife, like I say, you know you get it, and you know you get it clean. Now, another way I use these knives are... I'll take it and I'll clip, I'll put a clip about every half an inch. I'll just cut a few threads, I'll go down further, I've already opened this one up a little too far, and I'll create, and then I can kind of pull it. Most of the time if you pull on whatever you're opening up, you won't tear the garment unless it's a real fragile piece of fabric. But see, I can hold, and see how I keep it tucked in there, and I keep my fingers wrapped around the fabric of the garment, and I can pull it loose. Here, better still. I, once again, I can take my hand, if I pull it loose, I can see the thread where it's stitched. And if I put a clip there, and give it a little tug, it'll open up further than trying to pick it out stitch by stitch. That's just one of the methods that we use through the years to make the job faster and save time. That is a utility knife. You can buy them in any type of home decor place like Home Depot or um, Lowe's. Sometimes your department stores in the uh, hardware and whatnot section will sell these. It's just so it's not an exacto knife, they just call utility knives, and like I say, they have a bunch of ridges, and you just snap off the blade as it gets done. One of the things that I've used for years, opposed to this, some people use a razor blade, but when you use a single-edge razor blade, for whatever reason, they get duller faster. So you find yourself continuously using a razor blade, single-edge razor blade, rather than a double.
because the double will be sharp on both ends. So I stay away from those. See, the blade is contained within a housing here. And because it's contained within the housing, the chance of me physically cutting myself holding on to it is less likely. Thank you very much. Once again, Gentleman Jim.